Hi there, okay. Uh, for this video, we're going to talk a little bit about how we're going to make one of these and one of these, put them together, and make one of these. Now you ask, what the hell is that? Well, it's a spotlight. Um, if you watch my videos, you know we do a lot of spotlighting. And one of the problems with spotlighting is you got two people with spotlights, usually two people, maybe a third person in the back. The, the shooter for that trip for that particular time. Well, who's ever holding the spotlight, which is connected to the vehicle, and the shooter, the shooter has to be outside the vehicle. Well, they're not always on um, the same page as to where everything should be pointed. So by adding a Stanley 10 watt uh, spotlight, battery operated, to your rifle, you can Kind of eliminate that problem. And you got a very powerful spotlight that will reach out uh, hundreds of yards, um, more than what you're going to be shooting at rabbits or even coyotes, um, even because it's its own pistol grip. All right. So, pop this back off. Got the NC Star mount on it quick release. So what I started with is that the Stanley 10 watt uh, battery operated LED. I love these spotlights. I bought this one here last fall. My brothers had bought one a few years ago and I got to play with the last year in the desert and just love it. They're, they're lightweight, maybe a pound, two pounds somewhere. They're not very heavy. Um, two power settings, you pull the trigger once, it goes to high, pull it again, it goes to low, and then off. But here's something I do love about these, if you go to high and let it set there for a while, because I usually just use high power anyway, it takes about five seconds, and then it'll go right off after the five seconds. It won't go to the low setting and then off. And then it always starts off at high. It comes with um, an AC charger, there's a little charging port back here and a DC charger that has the little socket for your cigarette lighter. Now what's also cool about these, if you're using the 12 volt charger, it will run off your car battery and not this battery. So you can effectively run it all night long. Um, and also a guy on Amazon has stated that his, the batteries went bad in it, but he can still plug it into his vehicle or a 12 volt source and it still works fine for him. So great spotlight, super powerful. Um, it's better than the incandescents that we've been using. We're gonna be using these now mostly for spotlighting now because they're just really lightweight, easy to handle. Now the Stanley also has this um, attachment here. It's a little kickstand thing, you know? So I set it like that. And that's what we use to mount that to it. Um, took the quick release mount, took off one edge of it, uh, made it flat, put a hole through here, put a hole through here, took uh, pieces of steel, circular steel, um, kind of like metal dowling, cut a little couple inch thing that we um, ground here in a proper spot that would match in here. And it's going to be hard to see on that because we cold welded everything, but we kind of just kept cold welding everything together and screwed the cold weld. And then eventually, this is what we ended up with. And I said, you're not going to be able to see the cold welds much because afterwards I obviously painted over the whole unit. Um, spread it, painted it all black except where the little LED would be and then the charging port on this one because I didn't have the little rubber port. Now you're going to see this little screw piece on the back. And what I did is because this still is capable of moving, I cold welded a screw to the body, ran it up, uh, put a hole in the flange of the mount, put a couple nuts on it so I can actually adjust the elevation up or down by a little bit. You know, it's not a, it's not a lot, but that way I can make sure it's, whichever rifle I put it on, it shines straight out where I want the scope to see. So. That's all I did with that, and um, it's a quick release, a little bit of spray paint. 
I did wrap a little bit of foam tape around the, the grip down here um, because I like the foam tapes. It gives it a little more bigger grip for me. Um, and as you can see, it, it works good. Um, the last couple of um, spotlighting videos I've done, um, I'm using the little ATN shot tracks. It's a little five times, not a zoom, but it's a fixed power. But it needs a lot of light to be able to video anything. And this puts out enough light, even in the, on the darkest nights, that that can um, record what I'm shooting at. And um, it's made it a little bit easier, a little bit lighter than ATN. I do love it, but it's a very heavy scope. Um, and then you got to mess around with the um, focus ring, of course, which is very difficult at night, trying to hold up the rifle, um, hold it so you can see through the scope, adjust your focus, all in the time before the rabbit, rabbit you know, um, sticks its nose at you and runs off into the night. So, all right, any questions or comments, just leave them in the uh, comment section and um, I'll try to answer them. Thanks a lot. Bye. Fuck. <laughs> He's too... He's wounded. There he goes.